itself shall authorize the destruction that is coming upon this country and this world, because the children have forsaken the Lord and sworn by them that are not gods. The Lord has forgotten the children. The children are being given up as living sacrifices to Baal, the God of this country, the God of this world, the God of the world, the God of men's bellies. Many more people will lose their lives, many more abortions, many more deaths before, during, and after things. Many will be caught off guard by these things. The hope of many that say Jesus is my Savior will perish without salvation. Many people will perish without knowing Jesus as Lord and Savior and Master. The time is short for the window of opportunity for many is closing quickly. Many will be dumbstruck and will not be prepared for the mass exodus from cities and overpopulated areas. Many will die trying to survive. The church, the ecclesia, the called out ones will be surprised when they are not taken out and they are not raptured. The dumbstruck will not know what to do. The dumbstruck will be looking for someone to blame and they will shake their fists at the Lord. Many will be given the chance over and over again for eternal life with the Lord. Many will say no and reject the everlasting joy for predestination of hell and separation from Yahuwah forever. The gross darkness that has left so many out of touch with reality will scare many that think they can continue to live their lives in and of the world. The words that they speak will even scare them. The actions that they take in matters of the heart will determine their destinations. Many that call me Lord, Lord, and brag on their numerous deeds will not see my kingdom except from afar. Could be a fire. I'm not real sure on that one. Ooh, I did write afar. The hallelujah will be quenched and many will cower in fear before the oppression. I have given them over to strong delusion. They have asked for their way and I have granted them passage. The multitudes in the valley of decision are marching upon my church. They will storm the organizations and the masses will fall for strong deceivers have gone out amongst them. The masses have been deceived into receiving a false Jesus and a false Holy Spirit. They have devoured the bait along with the hook the line and the sinker. Many do not know they are victims of targeting. Many well-meaning individuals have gone through the motions for so long that they cannot change their leopard spots. The majority of the church goers are not doers of my word. They are hearers only. Many, many individuals have come only to be disappointed in the rantings and ravings that they hear. I cannot accept anyone on their own terms. I can only accept on my terms. There, theirs are the... There are conditions to meet in order to be given the free gift of eternal life, which makes it cost effective for my kingdom. The problem remains that mankind wants things easy, and I have made the way easy. But the path is rocky, hilly, and quite steep. The narrow path is narrow for a reason. You cannot walk side by side on this particular path. The path I have chosen for you is to be journeyed upon alone, only with my spirit to lead you and guide you. When my chosen ones gather, I'm sorry, I'm reading this because I wrote it earlier. When my chosen ones answer my call, I give them a path to choose. Praise God. As my chosen ones hunger and thirst after righteousness, I will fill them over and over again according to their capacity. Many well-meaning souls have perished because they lack relationship. Many well-meaning individuals lack relationship, saints. Wow. 
sincere believers of a Savior that absolutely refuse to obey and walk therein, the lesson having been learned too late, their belief in self-preservation has caused them to err on the side of sin and iniquity. The transgression of my laws is rampant in society. For these transgressions, many will forfeit their entrance into my kingdom. The angels prepare my documents daily. Their agenda is to serve notice upon mankind and gather the wheat and the tares to their respective places. Counterfeit anointings have overwhelmed my houses and pastors and under-shepherds I have sent personally have been rejected and censored. My shepherds so far gone that many are incapable of the smallest of gestures toward obedience. I'm going to read that again, saints. My sheep are so far gone that many are incapable of the smallest of gestures toward obedience. God forgive us and help us to hear what thus saith the Lord. Whoo, this is, mm, this is, mm, thank you, Jesus. The shepherds are gathering flocks of goats, and because they look like their flocks, and their flocks look like them, my image has been replaced by self. This ought not to be so, however, it is most assuredly so. My spirit shall not continually visit these stiff-necked people. My spirit has been grieved by ones that have been calling my name. Even from pure hearts, those submitted to my will, I have come, whew, I have come to a time of recompense and I will not hold my peace forever, for much longer. I have come to a time of recompense and I will not hold my peace much longer. The corruption is dangerous and they plan on destroying many, many more souls. Have mercy, Lord. I have come to set the captives free and my work shall be accomplished in you. Wait just a little while longer, and I will establish you, and I will set you apart for my use. Be blessed, not stressed. The Lord will keep you in all of your endeavors. Be confident in this one thing, my child. I will never leave you or forsake you. We got to wake up. We got to wake up, saints. Hallelujah. If we will pray and fast and seek God's face, the judgment can be reversed. But it's going to take all of us. I'll write this stuff down and I'll get it and then I'll go back and read it and it hits my spirit and it hits my soul. Lord, help us. He said, Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord, and shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? Shall I not visit for these things, saith the Lord, shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. The prophets prophesy falsely, and the priests bear rule by their own means. And my people love to have it so... And what will you do in the end thereof? I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over every true born again the believer that they not be deceived. That they not be deceived. That they not turn back. The Lord has given us wisdom and authority and strength to overcome. The word of God is very simple, saints. We will overcome by the blood of the Lamb, the words of our testimony. I'm not loving our life unto death. Oh, 
I praise you, Lord. Wake up, church. It's time. It's time. I love you. God bless you. Sister with a testimony.